CashTab has recently released the XCC airdrop calculator, which is a powerful tool for e-token and project owners to conduct their own airdrops to reward holders of their e-token. This video will cover the basics of this new feature, along with the advanced options and how you can start using it today. We have already seen various communities in eCash creating their own e-tokens for business and community building use cases. The most popular of these can be seen on the unofficial e-token tracker app where they are ranked by the total transactions generated by their respective vibrant token holders. The new airdrop calculation feature in CashTab enables the owners of these e-tokens to reward the holders by airdropping XCC to their members. This is calculated based on the amount of that e-token they are holding at a particular point in time. Let's take a look at a live example from the blockchain. Consider this DET token on the mainnet. There are a total of 4 addresses holding this token. Rick holds 20 tokens, Joel holds 50, Amy holds 10, and Lauren holds 20. Let's say as the owner of this e-token, you would like to airdrop 10 million XEC to these holders as a reward for their loyalty. Using the Cash App airdrop calculator, Rick will get an airdrop of 2 million XEC coins calculated on a pro rata ratio based on the 20 tokens he's holding. Joel gets 5 million, Amy gets 1 million, and Lauren gets 2 million. Now let's try this in Cash App. There are two ways of accessing the airdrop calculator. You can either click the airdrop icon directly on the bottom menu, or you can go via the eToken screen. Let's try the second approach. On the home screen, Click on the eTokens tab and then find the eToken that you want to base the airdrop on. Within the token info screen, click on the airdrop XEC to holders button underneath the token ID, which will then take you directly to the airdrop feature with the eToken ID already pre-populated for you with the eToken ID. All that's left for you to fill in is the total amount of XCC you would like to airdrop to the holders of this eToken based on their token balances. Let's say we'll airdrop a total of 10 million XCC to holders of this token. We enter 10 million into the total XCC airdrop field and then click the Calculate Airdrop button. This is a complex calculation involving querying the XCC blockchain for addresses holding this e token, which will take approximately 10 seconds to finish. Once the resulting airdrop outputs are displayed, you can either click on the Copy to Clipboard button so you can paste it into the Electrum ABC wallet or you can click on the copy to send screen button to send it within cash Jab as a multiple recipient send transaction. Now back in the airdrop screen, you may have noticed various toggle switches above the calculate airdrop button. They each serve a unique purpose to give you more control over shaping the airdrop recipients list. The ignore my own address option excludes this active wallet from inclusion in the airdrop if the airdrop organizer does not wish to be included in the calculations. The Ignore Airdrops Below Minimum Payment option excludes any output that is less than 5.5 XCC. Otherwise, this would prevent the one-to-many send transaction from executing on the send screen. The Ignore Token Minter Address option excludes the address that originally created this e-token. The Minimum e-token Holder Balance option refers to a qualifying criteria where only addresses with at least the specified e-token amount are included in the airdrop recipient's list. And finally, the Ignore Custom Addresses option allows you to specify specific addresses to exclude in the airdrop. If you're excluding more than one address, you can delimit them using a comma as shown here. There are a few key considerations to keep in mind with airdrops. First is the dilution of the airdrop amount. The more holders you have, the lower each individual airdrop will be because the XCC airdrop is spread across more holders. So you may need to adjust the total airdrop amount for it to be considered worthwhile for each holder. Secondly, if you as the e-token owner are holding a significant portion of the total supply of your e-token, then the majority of the airdrop will go to your address. So you may use the ignore e-token minter address option when calculating the airdrop. And lastly, please ensure the qualifying e-token transactions to airdrop recipients have at least one confirmation. This is because the airdrop calculator will not detect unconfirmed token balances. In simple terms, if you just send the e-token to someone, make sure that send transaction has had at least one confirmation otherwise that recipient will not be counted in the airdrop calculations. So there you have it, the ability to conduct your own airdrops through CashTab with full control over the qualification criteria for recipients. If you have any questions regarding this new eCash airdrop facility, 
or need a hand to get started in contributing to CashTab as a developer, please feel free to reach out to Joey at Bytes of Man or Ethan at Pungent Aura on both Twitter or Telegram.